And now, for our feature presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? You're listening to Straight Talk with Dean and Mark. Call in to join the conversation at 646-668-8393. Welcome to Straight Talk with Dean and Mark. It's the Six Man Dean Geronimo in the studio with Mark Lee. And we welcome you to yet another exciting episode of our show. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome to the last Monday in July. It's the six man Dean Geronimo, and as always, I'm in the studio from NJ to NC with my partner Crime Mark Lee. So, Mark, tell me on this hot, hot Monday, what's good in your neck of the woods, my brother? Hey, it's been a busy week. I mean, we've been just rocking and rolling here in Durham. All kinds of things were going on, and you know, yours truly was in the middle of all of that that was happening because we were just having a good old time and some real exciting things that were happening in the community. So definitely enjoyed being in the mix of them. Even tried to do some things that I have not done in a while to see if I still had any of those skill sets and uh, did not disappoint myself. So I'm a little rusty in these things, and I'll talk about them in a minute. But before we get to what I'm rusty in, I do have a question to ask you because I believe that when we started this thing, we said that we were going to open the month with a birthday, and we were going to close it with a birthday. So I believe i got to give you a birthday shout-out because I believe sometime in this latter part of the month, you have celebrated your birthday just like I did to bring it in. Oh, not yet, brother. It is this Wednesday. You got the first day, and I got the last. So, you know, July 31st, the sixth man will celebrate 46 trips around the sun, and um, I'm glad to see it, bro. You know what I mean? Just happy to be here. Oh, yeah. (laughs) That is definitely a pleasure when you can see those trips around the sun and all of that stuff. You know, I'm definitely trying to shoot for some kind of world record. I got many years to go, I hope, because I want to go for, like, a record that ain't never been set. You know, I look at the Guinness Book of World Records, see people, you know, in their hundreds, 120s. I'm going to see if I can, like, shatter those records. Of course, it might help if I actually did things like you're supposed to do, like go see the doctor, do some physical exercise, do all of them things. But, you know, you ever notice that when they talk to these folks that live a long time, nine times out of ten, they've broken the rules that they ever done any of those things that the doctor told them to do? Uh, you know what? I don't know. I'm just starting to follow the doctor's advice myself, man, because I'm trying to see at least 103. So, you know, we all have those aspirations, bro. I'm going to start, you know, eating a little differently now and, and make sure that my A1C numbers are good, my cholesterol is good, my sodium is good. That way I can hang around for a little longer. You know what I mean? When we start uh, ignoring that stuff, you know, making sure, and there's public service announcement, every, every man over 40, go ahead and get that prostate check, man. Don't just do the blood test. You got to get the digital as well. Get a female doctor, smaller hand. Just get it checked, man. Get it checked. Prostate yeah. cancer is killing me quick, too. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of that disease taking us out on a regular basis. You have not lied about that whatsoever. But just to tell you about some of the things that were going on at Hey Ty, I started it off with uh, things going on on. Uh, there might have been some stuff over the weekend, I, a weekday. I got to figure out what all of that was. But, you know, we did definitely the show on Thursday, the blue shows I do. And then on Friday, there was a family that was at the Haiti celebrating the family reunion. They had people coming in from all over North Carolina, I think, maybe Virginia, South Carolina. Might even had some Georgia folks. I think when they did one of the contests, somebody had come all the way from, I believe, Texas or something like that. So, you know, they had contests that they were definitely enjoying themselves. They were here for a whole weekend of celebrations. But Haiti was one of the days that they enjoyed themselves and that we enjoyed hosting them there. And then on Saturday, uh, the DOT is going to eventually paint some crosswalks and have some artistic things going on. But they did like a prototype celebration of that. So they had like a little paint party where they painted one side of the uh, sidewalk going from one end of the street to the other down one of our, not main thoroughfares, but that would have been if they had gone across the street, but like one of the 
okay. side thoroughfare, which is Lakewood. And folks definitely had a good time out there. They were enjoying themselves painting. You know, some people got paint on their dresses and things of that nature. I did not pick up the paintbrush. I probably should have, but I did not. But uh, <laughs> I, I enjoy people in, out there enjoying themselves. Got to walk across the um, crosswalk after they painted it. Some people danced across and definitely had some good old time doing that and uh, enjoyed myself out there. Tara Mae Smith, who's uh, got some ties to both uh, North Carolina and New York. She was out there. Aya Shabu was out there. Monet Marshall, I'm hoping, uh, can uh, not remember. We might have had her on the show before, but if not, she'll definitely be on. And some other people uh, were out there. So I had a great time doing that. And then that afternoon, Damien, who runs Holy Tabernacle, and he's just a man of many businesses. He's got Holy Tabernacle Church, which meets once a month, kind of an Afrocentric church. And then he's also got... Um, triangle carrier so he's doing like deliveries he's got bouncy house was one of his businesses so he's definitely a true entrepreneur and a multi-talented entrepreneur but about the last i say four maybe five years he's done this community day where he feeds people in the community and uh they come out there they enjoy games they had pony rides they had the bouncy house he even had a group from the inner city boxing doing some boxing demonstration melinda who is a line dancer did some line dancing had a couple of uh, performers i think one was a singer another was a rapper and there might have been some other things that were going on. But like I said, he fed about, I'd say, close to 250, 275 people out there because CC's uh, Barbecue was out there. And they had uh, done some hot dogs and some uh, hamburgers. They might have had some other items, too. But definitely had a good old time. And folks were enjoying themselves totally. And then later on that afternoon, there was a wedding reception because one of the guys that helped us with our setup, he is a pastor, associate pastor, I believe. And uh, he uh, had done the service at the church that he um, attends and everything and um, then they did the reception at Haytai so like I said the Haytai was jumping and then that evening I went to Tap Cork I think I had mentioned to you as we were going off Tap Cork which is a beer and wine festival the original one or one of the original ones I believe was held in Brooklyn but they are now doing it for the first time here in the Durham area so Ty Allen who is a poet as well as a performer of just I think he does some other mediums as well but he was out there and uh, was one of the organizers along with Church the Poet and Desan Ahanu, who we all know and everything. And so they just had a good old time out there. And that's when I discovered some of the skill sets that I have not had in a while because there was a young uh, fella out there, I'm guessing probably a preteen, and he was out there along with some adults throwing a Frisbee. So, you know, I got on board and tried to throw that Frisbee, and a couple of my throws were a little bit <laughs> straight, and a couple of my catches were not quite what I wanted. I mean, there were a couple times it bounced off my hand versus doing the catch. I thought I was being smooth. But a couple times I thought I was being smooth and wasn't as smooth as I thought I was. So, you know, that just happens sometimes. So that went on. And then um, uh, at the end of the evening, they had a little game of spades going. So I got my spades game on. And if I saw the score correctly, we hadn't managed to win because we had the world's worst hand. But somehow we managed to go <laughs> forward and still snucker ourselves into winning a hand or two more than they had so they reneged so i did not see the final score count but if i did my math correctly i think that we managed to pull off a victory because they reneged which means that they would have gone minus 80 or minus 90 and we would have gone um about uh 40 plus so i think we had maybe lost a hand or two by 20 or 40 or by a set or two so like i said if, I, if my math is correctly i think we pulled out a victory in our one hand in our one go around because everybody got at least one deal of a quick space game so it was not the full space game and i had not played in a while but i do know the basic rules of spades and bid with so i think i managed to pull off at least one victory even if the frisbee wasn't quite a victory the way i wanted it and then on uh sunday we had uh our regular two church services going on with christ central and then that evening they were celebrating which they've done now for a number of years too the uh possibility of uh well not possibility but students that are going to be going off to more health and Spelman. So, you know, these are some students from around this area that are going to be going to that historical university, those historical universities. So uh, they had about 80 folks or so that came to send them off. So they got a new crop of students that will be the class of 2023. And I got drafted in doing like a quick speech about <laughs> uh, the history of Haiti and things of that nature. That was, so actually, I think I got drafted three times. You know, that's what happened when you're a public speaker. I got drafted right. every day of the week because Friday I got drafted in <laughs> talking to the reunion real briefly as they were wrapping up. Saturday I got uh, drafted into doing a quick TV advertisement, well, video advertisement, like a Facebook kind of thing for uh, Damien to send out to his people. And then Sunday uh, 
Miss Polly recruited me to do the presentation for the Morehouse students and things of that nature. So somehow I managed to get recruited <laughs> into these uh, things because uh, some of the main players were not in the house. So uh, they know that uh, I've got that background with public speaking, radio, and media. So they threw me into the mix. So I did it and stepped in there. And everybody said I did a good job. So I'm hoping that they weren't just blowing smoke, as the old saying goes. And uh, so, like I said, it's been a busy and happening week, and it, just, it even got continued today. But they had, uh, we just hired a new uh, person that's going to be running stuff and helping, and helping us with programming and uh, some stuff, probably in some of his job title with development as well. So they did like a small reception for him that I just came back from. So that was over at the Haytai Heritage Center. So, you know, definitely looking forward to seeing what kind of things Quentin Talley will be coming up with because he's already got some ideas like some block parties, some things celebrating around Afro pop, some things using some of our existing uh, programs like the dance and our um, artists and things of that nature. So he's definitely uh, up and running. He told me as I was leaving that he had actually looked at the possibility of going up toward your neck of the woods in New York, but you know, they weren't talking about paying him the kind of money that you need to live in New York. Because I think he said to be a PD up there, he'd need to be making about ninety, a hundred thousand. Because you know, most of that's going to go to rent. So he knew that he was going to have to get a whole lot more than he's probably making with us in order to even think about going up there. But you know, as the economy right. goes on and as he develops and, and continues to work with us, you know, I don't know that we'll be the final stopping ground. He may eventually make it to New York and up in your neck of the woods. But for right now, we're going to see what kind of uh, great things he can do in our community and uh, I do know that he's got a rich tradition of having his own uh, theater company on Q Productions as well as his own band so he definitely got some uh, talent with him that he'll be uh, bringing to our forefront as well so we're looking forward to seeing what kind of things he's going to do and how that's all going to play out boy y'all keep it jumping down there it's always something to do if you're down there in that area and you're bored then you just might be boring because it, it's like it's always something to do. And if you don't know and there's something that you can't see, make sure you uh, hook up with Mark Lee because he will definitely get you somewhere that you just may enjoy yourself. <laughs> That's right. We will get you plugged into some kind of way or another. We will find a way to get you plugged in and, and something going on. And uh, you talk about things going on. This, just this week, we got stuff going on. I know I got a board of directors meeting with the Carolina Theater on tomorrow. And then I've got um, my alma mater, Marquette, is going to be bringing in some people to speak about our team and some of the things going on on that campus way in Milwaukee. So they're going to do that, I believe, in Cary. So I'm trying to figure out my mass transit and how to get to that. And then I've got a meeting with I about our history tours. And we got some other things going on. And, of course, I really want to get down at least for a day or two down to Winston-Salem because, you know, every two years it's the National Black Theater Festival and it's always on an odd year. So This being uh, the year 2019, it's an odd year. So they actually kicked it off right now as we're speaking. They're probably in the middle of their gala, which they do every Monday when they kick it off and then uh, or the Monday that they do the kickoff and then it runs all the way until Saturday night. Uh, then my buddy Petri Bird, who's the bailiff on Judge Judy, he usually throws a big kickoff uh, well, ending party and he might do one or two during the course of the uh, week as well. And uh, then, of course, they've got Rita's Theater. They've got um, poetry going on. Usually they've got, of course, all kinds of great theater productions. And then they've got uh, live music that's going on. So it's just an event that if you've never been to it, uh, Dean, you definitely need to put it on your calendar. I know it's probably too late, or it's actually this too late for this year, but definitely put it on your calendar for 2021 because it is just an amazing event. And like I said, as, when Mom lived in Winston, I would go there and just, camp out there and practically live there but that was many years ago when they first started this festival but now uh you know having the fast transit situation and having to depend on friends i might not go as often but i try to sneak in there for at least a day or two and there's nothing wrong with that slide in enjoy yourself slide on out you know what i mean so that's a good thing exactly that's a good thing that's a real good thing Oh, and speaking of Marquette, and Indeed. I did hear the bell, so hopefully that's one of our guests and everything. But speaking of Marquette, you know, every year since they started this thing, the basketball tournament, I do follow whether we have an alumni team and how we do. Last year, I think we made it to the uh, kind of championship round and got knocked out by the team, the Overseas Elite, which has got, like, going on a three-year, and I guess this year they're trying to make it a four-year run of being the champions. But 
we did make it again to the championship round. So my Golden Eagle Marquette alumni team, which is made up of uh, former Marquette players and maybe one or two.